All right, welcome to my playthrough of Nier Automata. Uh, now, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, because it's one of the big arguments you can find online about this game, is how to pronounce the title. I believe it's based off of the word automaton, and so therefore it's supposed to be pronounced automata. Um, but I've also heard people pronouncing it automata, or what have you. So I'm going to go with automata, and I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing it that correctly. And please don't hate on me too much if I'm pronouncing it wrong, and that's something that's really important to you. Uh, but I'm going based off of the automaton uh, basis. Now, having said that, this is going to be a very interesting game for me because I know very little about this game. Um, I know that it's supposed to be very, very good. It's got amazing reviews. I've heard uh, really good things from people anecdotally. And aside from that, I know very little in terms of details. It's developed by Platinum Games, who specialize in fast-paced action-style games. And they're probably most famous for the Bayonetta series, And as an example. They self-describe as making weird games for weird people. So with that being a self-description, I expect this to be very, very interesting. Other things I know, I know that this is uh, not the first Nier game. I believe it's the second or third Nier game. And that the Nier series is part of the Drakengard series. So this is something like the second or third Nier title and the fifth or sixth uh, Drakengard game. But from what I understand, from what I've been told, from what I've looked into, you don't need to have played any of the previous games. You don't need to be familiar with any of them to be able to understand and appreciate this. This one is kind of standalone, separate, um, disconnected from the others, shall we say. So I'm relying on that. I'm hoping that's true. We'll, we'll see, right? Um, I, I know nothing. I've actually never even played a Platinum Games game before. Other things I know is the premise. Supposedly, this game takes place a few thousand years in the future, where machines have taken over Earth, and humanity is not there anymore. And the basic premise is that humanity sends these androids back to Earth to see if it's ready for humanity's return, as far as I understand it. I think that's the way they pitch it. We'll see. I, again, I know nothing about this. So, with that in mind... Oh, the other thing about Platinum Games, they're not easy. Fast-paced action games, weird games for weird people, not easy. <laughs> so I'm really kind of going into this very, very blind. I know almost nothing aside from what I've just told you. And that this game is supposed to be very, very good. So without any further ado, let's try it out. Uh, that's a very interesting message to begin with. This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Now, the reason you saw that there was a data there is that I had loaded up the game to just kind of make sure that it was working before starting this game capture, but I hadn't actually played any of it. So I'm going to go into this as new as you are, uh, if not newer. If you, if you are familiar with this, I'm going into this newer than you are. Uh, this is kind of my online tag, whatever, you know, I use anytime I need a, a username. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. Bold opening? <laughs> Yorha Squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. 
Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary, and gather what data you can. Understood. Yeah! 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. Ah! 11B, down. Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Seven-E down. One-D down. Assuming captain's duty. Accidentally evaded right into the laser fire there. Surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. Okay, so we've already seen several different gameplay styles. Top-down scroller, bullet hell, flight simulator evasion thing, side-scrolling shooter. Okay, I get the feeling evasion is going to be very important in this game. Seems like there's some kinds of uh, enemy attack I can destroy, others I can't. Oh geez, what's this thing? Okay, yeah, I want to stay inside its firing radius. Activating short range attack gear. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. So it looks like I can still do um, ranged attack while um, uh, doing melee attacks. Interesting. Oh, 
this guy looks a little bit bigger. Not quite. Oh boy. Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal. Dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. Somehow I don't think melee attacks are going to work on this thing. Okay, so it looks like an auto-used healing item. Don't know how I'm supposed to evade something like that. Laser communications recovered. Toby, I'm transmitting your pod program. Pod program, alright. Pod program download complete. Jeez, this thing's shooting these uh, things at me. While basically being a giant saw. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right. I'll work my way inside from the ground. All right, well, it seems like I've got a moment to myself here. Uh, so, a <laughs> few comments, few observations, first of all. Uh, yeah, fast-paced action game. We went through several different game styles just in those opening moments. We went top-down side-scrolling shooter, we went bullet hell, we've got a little bit of flight simulator evasion thing. It looks like we're wearing gothic Lolita outfits, wearing some sort of blindfold, um, they're carrying swords, and I've got this automated long-range fighting. I'm assuming that's the pod because they talked about a pod program and when I activated it that's what shot. Um, yeah, and we got RPG elements because we're leveling up. This uh, this game is looking to be very interesting, very, very fun. Um, one other thing I'm going to point out that I forgot to mention during the, uh, the very beginning when I talked to you is that uh, I understand this game has multiple endings. And so I looked into it trying to avoid spoilers because I don't want it spoiled for, spoiled for me. Um, and yeah, it does have multiple endings, 26 of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, from what I what I looked into, it looks like about three or four of those are the main endings, and the rest are kind of uh, joke or alternate endings. But uh, each of the 26 endings is associated with the letter of the alphabet, like A, B, C, D, yada, yada, yada. Now, some of these endings, you need to be on at least your third playthrough. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> um, at least I don't plan on doing that. I'm going to be playing through this once, 
you're gonna get whatever ending I get. I don't know what that is, I don't know what differences they make, I don't know how to get to the different endings. I'm gonna find that out alongside you. Actually, I'm probably going to just stumble into one ending and then <laughs> and, uh, probably after I find that ending, then I'll look up how to get to the other ones. But whatever ending we get is the ending we get. That's my plan, and we'll see if that actually comes to be. Uh, so without any further ado, let's keep going, okay? <laughs> Looks like this is the way I have to go. And it gave me the prompt to lock on or lock off there. I didn't do that. I thought you had to hold the button to lock on. So it looks like it's a toggle lock-on. These look like the item pickups. Natural rubber obtained. Okay. Rubber is apparently a thing I need. Assuming it's not just like a useless item like you sometimes see at the beginning of RPGs. Looks like this is the way I'm going. Ah! Okay, so that's cool. She's got two swords, one huge one, one small one, that are kind of hovering behind her back. So that's... the small one is the light attack, and the big one, go figure, is the heavy attack. Alright. Looks like we got a screw. Rusted clump. Uh, looks like those little nuts that I'm picking up that it says 20G, 10G. Now in traditional RPGs, G usually stands for gold or gold pieces or something like that. Don't know what it's referring to here. We shall find out. To be? Uh, ma'am? What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Oh, hey, map. I got a mini map now. I'm assuming that that uh, diamond like icon on the mini map is my destination. I'm one of those people, if you give me an alternate way to go, I will go that way first because I've been trained by many years of gaming that if you don't, if you just go the way they tell you to go, then you will miss stuff. So I think I saw more stairs up that way. So first I'm going to go up these platforms over here and see what I find. So it 
looks like that's a door, and as well as some stairs up, so that might be the way I end up needing to go. Yeah. Okay, so we can do an air jump, that's good to know. There's an item here. Now. Just fell down. Okay. Ten gold obtained. I didn't even see what that item was. I don't even know how to access the items right now, so I imagine I'll find that out sooner or later. This might be a very bad idea, but I get the feeling I can jump towards the camera here. Looks like a ladder down or up, so I've got a shortcut back to here. Okay. box I got first time. Oh yeah, and here's where the platforms came up to. Okay. Well, that's not ominous at all. Exit confirmed closed. So open it. Negative. Nearby enemies are chanting our signal. Nothing's ever easy. way I came in versus which way I'm supposed to go out. I'm assuming that kind of diamond symbol on the map is like my objective. So let's try this way. Uh, nope, that's the way I came in. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that, I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing, stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is.
Well, I can see there's a, an item over there. I just have no idea how to get to it. Thought maybe I could knock this one down. Guess not. Probably one of those, uh, I'll come from the other side and, and open this bridge from that side. Kind of things. Thousand G. Alright. Crystal. That's interesting. It's been things like rubber and rusted clump up until now. Probably don't want to jump down there. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. Doesn't let me. Okay. Interesting to note, I can't actually change the uh, angle of the camera, so we're now in side-scrolling platformer territory. A dented plate, okay. Obviously, many paths to go on here. Which one is the best? I have no idea. I we'll guess we'll find out as we go. What was that? recovery obtained. I imagine this is the top of the stairs. I'm glad I went back down because I just got some copper ore and a broken key. Yeah, there's the ladder I went up the first time. Okay. Definitely a game you need to backtrack on periodically. Oh yeah, the lock-on feature definitely makes the uh, attacking ranged enemies much easier. There's a door there, and there's a door here. Analysis. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. So it is a door, just can't use it. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. But now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. It's an interesting dynamic, androids versus machines. I think I see a bunch of machines lining the rows of this pet, um, space on the left here. Molten metal, probably want to stay out of that. It's 
So at this point, I'm kind of basically using the melee attacks to defend myself against these uh, projectiles, because I can destroy the projectiles with an attack. Okay, interesting. It appears that attacking some kinds of enemies gives me that, that kind of shock. Don't exactly know how to tell which enemies cause that and which ones don't. What? It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Thank you for another day of hard work. I actually completely missed whatever the PA system said. Um, I'm going to review that when I'm editing it. Oh boy. Can't see what I'm doing because I'm inside the box. Having to jump on top of a box from top-down view that can't be changed, that's uh, an interesting game mechanic. <laughs> Another thing I just want to point out that I didn't, um, the thought just occurred to me that I didn't actually comment on it at the time is the uh, emotions are forbidden. And that's interesting that you'd design an android that could feel emotions and then... Analysis. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. And then uh, prevent it from being able to actually use those emotions that you've programmed into it. detected on enemies. Close range combat is advised. I know. Also, 2B kind of comes across as a little bit cold here.
Sometimes it's just fun to do those... Ah, there's more enemies here. Okay. Sometimes it's just kind of fun to do those finishing moves. So the light changed from red to blue. I'm assuming that means it's open now. I'm going to grab these items first. I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they, I don't know, moved it somewhere? That's not ominous at all. <laughs> Is that? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. That's a good sign, I think. We got greenery, tree, things like that. And a big wide bridge. This is either the end of the level or a uh, boss battle. Or both. <laughs> okay, I thought I could jump over there, but I guess not. There is an item here, though. This is really setting off my gamer sense. <laughs> uh, you may have seen jokes online along these lines. Hmm, big empty area. Sure are a lot of healing items lying around. The only thing that's missing is the game autosaving, but we know this game doesn't autosave, so... Uh, <laughs> probably a boss battle ahead. Look down on either side of the ramp, see if there's any items here. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. More buzz saws. Alert. High power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Oh, yeah, the ability to lock on is definitely your friend in a, in a fight like this.
this dodge ability is very useful. Is that? Target enemy detected. Oh boy. Holy Jesus! Yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> Going to destroy. Uh, right. I'll provide support. I need to make sure I don't die. Okay, so this is what they mean by evade. <laughs> Packing in. Black box signal detected. No response to communications. I'm going after him. But I thought emotions were forbidden. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh boy. That's not a good sign. Send a support request to command. Negative. Communications have been jammed. This game definitely takes a bit of learning. <laughs> 9S! I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut current... up! Just do what I say. To be. Just go. Me, you shut up too. We. We're soldiers. We take pride in our service. HO 229 Flight Unit. Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. <laughs> All right. Just... 
talk about bringing the battle to them. Ah, <laughs> to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Oh, great. I don't imagine that... <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box. It's ready. Right. Requesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Well, talk about starting with a bang, huh? <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> I honestly... Yeah, a uh, fast-paced action game. It's not easy. I can tell you that for sure. Um, and yeah, a, a little bit weird, but I, I'm liking it. Wow, I, I really like the the kind of the style and everything here going on. So I'm going to call an end to the episode here, obviously. Uh, click over there. Join me next time as we continue our journey into near automata and uh, find out how the heck they follow that <laughs> see you then <laughs>